Welcome to your weekly buzz. Presented by Speaking Human. Here's what's happening this week on the buzz. In 2006, an American treasure went missing. It's bright orange dust and airy crunch never to be seen or heard from again. No, we're not talking about the comedian Carrot Top. Planner's Cheese Balls will be bouncing back into select stores for the first time in 12 years. The triumphant return of the beloved balls in a cylindrical container was driven entirely by repeated requests from sad snackers. Planner's head of brand building, Melanie Hewitt, said, We heard many impassionate pleas for us to bring cheese balls and cheese curls back over the years, and we wanted to give our fans a chance to reunite with their most missed cheesy snack. Here's what's happening this week on The Buzz! While it's true that General Electric was recently delisted from the New York Stock Exchange after 110 consecutive years on the index, it shouldn't come as a surprise to those who have been watching the brand. GE has been undergoing some dramatic shifts in their strategy for the future of the company. This includes the transitioning of GE to a software and analytics company selling much of its industrial solutions and water and appliances divisions. And now, General Electric is going a step further by shifting focus to its aviation, power, and renewables divisions while separating its healthcare and oil and gas drilling businesses. This is just another example of how powerhouse brands can adapt and evolve even after they've become weighty with time. GE is definitely going through a period of refocusing but it looks like the direction they're taking will set them up for future prosperity. Here's what's happening this week on The Buzz! While the buzz over the past year has been all about MoviePass, and they're so cheap, how could they possibly be making money on that subscription service? Speculation in the movie theater industry was that AMC, the nation's largest movie theater chain, had their own subscription service in the works. Sure enough, AMC officially announced their new service, the unfortunately named Stubbs A-List Program. Members of the program pay $19.95 a month plus tax and can go see up to three movies per week at any AMC theater nationwide. Unlike MoviePass, Stubbs A-List members can go see movies in any format, including IMAX, Dolby Cinema, and Real D 3D. Members can also reserve advanced tickets for movie screenings, another benefit you can't get from MoviePass. While Stubbs A-Lists currently cost twice as much per month as MoviePass, the added benefits, reliability of the AMC brand, and continually weird things going on with the MoviePass business might make the Stubbs program a good option for moviegoers and a boom for the AMC chain. Note to AMC, if you really want the program to become a box office smashing success, you might want to consider changing the name. And that's your weekly buzz. Get more fresh buzz at speakinghuman.com forward slash buzz.